G'day, Pat Callanan here. Now I've just rolled my four wheel drive into the car park of a company called Red Ark in Adelaide, South Australia. Now most Aussies will appreciate that manufacturing over the last few decades has headed almost unanimously overseas. But there is one company that is bucking the trend and that is Red Ark. And I'm here to inspect their factory that has just doubled its capacity. So join me and let's go and have a look. Welcome to Australia's Red Arc Electronics, a place that makes all sorts of high-tech gear and goodies specifically for Australia's conditions. Innovation is a word that's bandied around pretty regularly these days, but it really is the lifeblood of Red Arc. And I don't just mean innovation coming from a bunch of blokes in lab coats. Red Arc actually listens to real-world consumers and makes their products to suit. A team of super qualified engineers are employed to make it all happen. And that's why Red Arc really are at the forefront of automotive electronics. To keep up to date with cutting edge technology, Red Arc is very serious about staff training. Red Arc believes that unless your training is sound, you risk falling behind the pack in the technology industry. So staff are actively encouraged to undertake regular training. So much so that over half of all Red Arc staff are currently engaged in training programs from apprenticeships right through to engineering honours degrees. Of course you can have all the bright ideas and the best training, but unless your quality is up to standard, then you're nowhere in this game, particularly in Australia, where our conditions are some of the toughest and most rugged on the planet. So, Red Arc have employed an extensive product testing program. This program doesn't just cover products before they get to market, it covers every single product made before it reaches the consumer. So, no matter whether you've bought a dual battery system or a brake controller, you can rest assured that it has been full function tested, not once, but twice, before it leaves the factory. Plus, they test for dust and water ingress, vibration resistance, and even electromagnetic interference. Anyone handling sensitive electronic componentry is required to wear either a wrist strap or an ankle strap to avoid any electrostatic discharge. This here, it's called the clean room. And quite frankly, I'm surprised that they even let me inside. I had to come through a couple of double doors and all that is designed to do is to actually avoid contamination in the building of these products, making sure that the consumer gets the very best quality that money can buy. Yep, this is certainly no backyard operation. Behind me are millions of dollars worth of manufacturing equipment. Environmental responsibility is really important to the Red Arc team, so they take this into account in every step of the manufacturing process. Initiatives like water tank capture systems and the use of lead-free solder has helped Red Arc meet ISO 14001 standards. Now Red Arc are probably best known for their consumer products but there is another part of the company that is pretty big too and that is their work for industry. Trucking companies, the defence industry, Red Arc builds a whole lot of products and keep in mind when you build products for industry they need to be absolutely bulletproof and reliable. But the benefit for that consumer end of product is that that engineering excellence flows right down to the products that we use in our motorhomes, our caravans and our four-wheel drives. As one of Australia's fastest growing companies, Red Arc is always quite naturally looking to the future. And there's no better example than the fact that they have recently doubled their storage capacity. Well, that just about brings us to the end of our factory tour of Red Arc. And I hope you, like me, also get to feel the power of Red Arc when you're next travelling Australia. I'm Pat Callanan, and keep this shiny side up.